My name is David Wilkins. I live in Bremen up on Weber Pond and I've lived here for 21 years. Action needed to happen here. This was a silent problem that no one was talking about, so I, I got involved. It's a story of uh, finding out why there weren't alewives in this brook in the spring. And I knew with alewives would come a lot of other wildlife. I mean, when people come first, you know, I feel that way, I'm a, a human. <laughs> um, we need roads, we need safe roads, but we, we can't ignore the silent wildlife. We need to know how to build roads harmoniously with wildlife, with the environment. We threw a culvert in here when we previously had a bridge and, and it killed out brook trout and, and, and owl wives and who knows what else. And, and we're trying to fix that now. You know, we're trying to widen this up, go back to a natural stream bed. That's what wildlife expects when they move through brooks and allowing the wildlife to move up like it used to. And this, this goes further than, you know, owl wives. There are otters that live up in the lake and they, they go out to the bay here and they go through the brook. They don't walk down Route 32, and so do you know, muskrats and beavers and everything. The water mammals move through the water, and so the otters will come down the brook here, and as they get to the road, they'll climb up over the road to go down to the other side, obviously risking their lives because they won't go through the culvert. That's very telling as to you know, what we've done here. But I'm excited about this technology because it, it goes back to bridge construction, spanning the brook, and allowing a lot of width and, uh, and allowing the wildlife to move up like it used to.